In the late 19th century, the world was captivated by the subject of the American West. This was the era of the Western dime novel, which nourished the public's interest in cowboys, outlaws, cavalry soldiers, and Indians that populated the untamed frontier. But it was artists like Frederick Remington that gave the West its visual substance. Though born in Canton, New York in 1861, Remington nonetheless had strong bloodlines to the American West. His great-grandfather was a saddlemaker. Another relative, George Catlin, was a noted Indian portraitist. He was also cousin to a lifelet Remington, founder of the Remington Firearms Company. As a young man, Remington spent several years out West, making sketches, collecting artifacts, taking photographs, and amassing a visual reference from which he would draw for the rest of his life. This early work, a dash for the timber, helped launch his career. Measuring approximately seven by four feet, it is a visual tour de force, depicting a group of cowboys being pursued by a band of Indians. The youngest man has been shot, barely hanging in the saddle with the help of men on either side. The rest of the cowboys are returning fire. A simple premise, but there are so many elements that make this painting a true wonder. Just the scale of the work puts you there on the scene. The attention to detail is also truly amazing. The man's blood-stained shirt, his foot out of the stirrup, the foam from the horse's mouth, the frying pan flying around on the pack horse. And how about this bit of dust kicked up from a stray Indian bullet? Throughout his life, Remington wanted to be recognized as an artist and not just an illustrator. And with the passage of time, his work has transcended into the realm of fine art. I'm Larry Withers, and this has been your Two Minute Masterpiece. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. To learn more about First Art Gallery, view the video below. To see our other two-minute masterpiece videos, click on the playlist.